but it also has a little rim around it too. A little uh, ring, and some of them do. And so what you want to do is, you can use your clay gun for this, or you can just roll this nice and thin. bit of alcohol around the bottom or water. This didn't join that real well, but again, we'll make that the back. Okay, and then when this is dry, we will paint it silver a thimble. Okay, well, so we'll set that aside. Let me get my buttons out. Now, they literally only take a minute or two to harden up. We left these in kind of a long time, but that's okay. Oop, I kind of squished that one. As you can see, they look just like buttons. Oops. This is a lot of fun. You, if you don't actually own any buttons, you can go to the um, fabric store and just get a couple. They're very inexpensive and they're a lot of fun. To, you know, you can make them in all different colors. They're a lot of fun to do. So they didn't get quite round. So let's go ahead and color these. You can use your dusts. I have some Super Pearl here somewhere. Here it is. And a soft brush. And for these white ones, a lot of times they're, uh, some are plain, but some are kind of iridescent-y, um, like mother of pearl buttons. And so, um, you know, they're usually plastic, so they're shiny. So they look really cool done up. They have all different shape buttons too. Okay. Uh, this is chocolate brown. And I'm actually going to paint this one button. Actually, I actually have a couple of them, so let's do them both. OK, let me get another brush, though. With a little bit of alcohol and a teeny tiny bit of the brown paint, brown gel, brown food color, because I want it very watery, very watery. And there we go, nice and watery. And if you're worried about it, you can test it out on a piece of fondant. I'm not worried. I'm just going to paint it. It should streak like the button. The buttons, these buttons are normally kind of streaky. Need a little bit more alcohol. There we go. Make it look kind of streaky and mottled. Okay. And that's what they look like. And let that one dry a little bit. Okay, for the red and the um, yellow, I'm just going to leave them just like they are. As you can see, I have a couple more buttons here done up. She has a couple of those. Okay, I did paint the green with a little bit of super green, but you know, it's optional. And the blue, I used a little sapphire blue on it. As you can see, I got a little assortment of buttons here. And I'll paint this one in a little bit. So there we have a couple buttons. We'll put those aside and let them dry. And let's go on to our next 